Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute baby Mary Janes. These ones are for uh, zero to three months and uh, I think they're just really super cute. So what you will need for this project is a 3.5 uh, millimeter crochet hook, obviously scissors, some needles to tie in your yarn and I've chosen these. So two buttons, uh, a centimeter buttons, um, you can get them in various, you know, uh, types but you, you can use whatever, I mean I've used the wooden one as you can see here because I think they look quite nice but you can use any buttons, but they've got, they've got to be about uh, a centimetre, so you'll need two of those. So I will show you how to make this, and uh, I hope you like it. So for this, you would need uh, DK yarn, and um, today I'll be using Wolf, uh, sorry, uh, Double Knitting by uh, Woolcraft, and... Uh, it says four millimeter but for this pattern for the zero to three we'll be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook right there so let's begin i'll show you how to make the one shoe and then i'll explain to you how you make the opposite side so to begin let's do a slip knot so wrap the yarn over Put this one at the back here and then go under and then grab that loop there Oops. okay get some yarn right so to begin these uh mary janes we need to chain nine As mentioned in my previous videos if there's anything in here that you're unsure of doing from um, doing a slip knot to chain stitches um, you can find everything on my individual uh, videos that I've listed um, so you can practice those and then come back and I will try and work at a uh, reasonable pace for you to follow if I'm too slow fast forward me if I'm too fast just pause and then you know catch up where we need to so we've got nine chains on the hook we need to do two single crochets but in the second chain so by now you should know how to do your single crochets so one and two we now need to do four single crochets Got three stitches remaining so the next two is half double crochet so two half double crochets one in this stitch and one in the next you have one stitch remaining and in that one stitch we will place seven double crochets here we are so we've turned our work around and now we work on the opposite side and what we did you can like I showed you before you can grab the yarn and work over it or you can leave it and tie it in after it's entirely up to you so yeah sorry uh, so two half double crochet so we did two there so we'll do two on the opposite side so remember not to go into that one you want the next one so two half double crochets in the next two stitches. So one and two. Then we did four single crochets. So 
so we're back to the end and you can either go in there or like there's a little you can see a little v there i tend to put my hook there because i just don't like the gaping hole so two single crochets there because we did two there we then slip stitch into the first single crochet that's round one okay round two we will chain up two and in that same where you came out from do two half double crochets so one and two we now need to do eight half double crochets so do your eight half double crochets and i'll see you there okay so we've got two double crochet uh, two half double crochets in the first one and then one two three four five six seven eight eight half double crochets in the next five stitches we will do two half double crochets in each stitch so one and two do that five more times and i'll meet you over here sorry five in total Now we will work the same as we did on the opposite so eight half double crochets in the next eight stitches i'll meet you once you've done those and you will have one stitch remaining here and you will place two half double crochets into that last stitch and slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet not the chains the first half double crochet here okay let's round through two so Round three, chain one. In that very same stitch, do two single crochets. Now we will do 11 single crochets. I'll meet you at the, at the, at the top. Now we will do two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet. We'll do that three times. So in the next one, two, then one, then two, then one, then two, and then one. Once you've done three sets of those, the next one is two single crochets as an extra. Now we worked up 11. This side's gonna be a little bit different. It will be 10 stitches this way. So do 10 single crochets and I'll meet you at the end. Okay. We have one stitch remaining and that should be two single crochets there. Slip stitch into the first single crochet. And that's your sole completed. Just check my pattern. What we are going to do now is single crochet into the back loop 
of the soul. So chain one, and your very first one is right here, the back loop. So you have a front loop and a back loop. You want the back loops. So the very first one will be here. So single crochet all the way along. You should have 36 stitches in total. So crochet all the way, uh, do your single crochets all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, here we are. And then you slip stitch into the first single crochet there using the both loops there. Give this a nice little ridge. So next round will be single crochets again, 36 single crochets, but in both loops. So like previous round we just did the back we're doing both loops together so into the first one your first single crochet there and then work your way around and I'll meet you at the end Here we are. And now we slip stitch into the first single crochet here. You can see, I'll just cut this yarn while I'm here. So we're now forming the upper part of the shoe. You can see it's coming up there, so lovely. Right, next round chain one and we will do 11 single crochets remember we work 11 that way and when we finish it's always 10 so the first single crochet goes straight in there and do 11 single crochets for this round so one two three and I'll meet you at 11 here we are 11 single crochets now what we're going to do is a stitch called an extended single crochet I'll show you how to do a couple and we need seven of those in total this is to form the the toe part of the the shoe so to do an extended single crochet we're going to place our first one not in the next stitch so we miss a stitch and we go to this stitch here so you put your yarn through as normal like you would do a single crochet but normally you would just do that. A single extended single crochet is like so. So miss that stitch, go into the next one, two loops, pull through the first loop and then pull through both loops together. So miss the next one and then do that again. Put your hook through, two loops, pull through the first one, still have two loops, and pull through again so we've gone we've had two we need to do seven in total and remember to miss a stitch then do your extended crochet miss a stitch and then extend it so we've done two the next one we will miss and then we'll go in, number three will be there so we need seven in total so you go ahead and do that and I'll meet you at, at, at number seven Okay, should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's your last one. And then what we will do is miss the next one. And in this one, place your first single crochet 
and we will do 10 single crochets to the end. So your first one is you miss a stitch and then place your first one on the next one. So that's one, two, three, and I'll meet you here and you should have 10 in total. Okay, number 10. Slip stitch here into your first single crochet. So as you can see, it's forming a little cute little toe there. Right, next round. Chain one, same again, 11 single crochets. So the first one being there. Okay, so now we will do three half double crochets, but we will miss one stitch and then place the half double crochet in the next one. So we need to do three of them. So yarn over, miss that one, go into the next one, pull through, three loops, pull through all three. Miss that one, next one, pull through all three. Yarn over, miss that one, And then the next one here. So you have three, one, two, and three half double crochets. So miss the next stitch, place your first single crochet here. And then that's your first one, and there should be 10 in total. I'll meet you at the end. Here we go, that's 10. Slip stitch into the first single crochet here. Don't chain anything yet. Here we go. Now we will do the strap. So this is your very last round. And uh, I'll show you how to do this. So. Uh, no chaining here. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip across. So that's your that's the one that you've come out from. Slip into the next one and do seven of these. But remember not to keep your hand tight so your work scrunches. Keep it nice, not too loose and not too tight. So put your hook through, pull the yarn through, and then yarn through that one as well. So do seven of those. So that's one, two, three, four five, six, and seven. You can see it forms a nice little neat edging here on the top of the shoe. So now we will chain 12 to make the strap. So one, two, three, and do 12. Okay, to make the little loop where your button will go through, slip stitch into the fourth chain. So one, two, three, and then just slip into that one. Pull through there, pull through there. And you want to slip all the way across and that will be your very last one here. Remember, do not pull too tight. Just keep a nice, neat. You don't want a wonky strap, do we? And that's your last one there. And then what we need to do is just do uh, slip stitches all the way around the shoe starting with the next one here.
remember not to pull too tight you'll be able to tell by your actual stitches if they look different sizes you know you've pulled somewhere too much so work across okay so To be honest, when you get to this point, I usually tend to find my first one that I've done here. So I've just put my hook through all of that. Yep. And uh, chain one. And cut your yarn. And there we have it, a cute little shoe. So let's tie up our yarns. Again, no real method to this, just to make your work neat. I prefer just going straight down a couple of times. So now we need to sew on the button and the way I do this is this is the uh, going to be your right shoe because it will buckle this way. Actually before I put on the button I'll show you how to make the other shoe. So the other shoe is exactly the same. The only difference is that when you do your very last round and you start from here and we did seven slip stitches and then we chained up 12 to make the loop. For the other shoe, you just carry on all the way around for 17 slip stitches. 17 will bring you to this side. And then pretend that's not there. So you'll work your way around here, 17 slip stitches. And then from here, you um, chain up 12 and then do your loop that way. Um, and then slip stitch into the remaining until you get to the end so exactly the same way it's just the last so that the buckle sorry the strap could be on the right side so this one will be this way and when you do the 17 which takes you all the way around your strap's going to go that way so i will show you now how to sew on the button i personally do it this way i just flatten the shoe like so that's where the uh, now you can see I've got two needles here. One's thinner and a little chunkier. So try and go for the one that will go through the holes on your button. So you can swap them over. So a little bit of yarn. There we go. And I always place my button. I don't know whether you can see. You've got one, two, three, and four. And then obviously you've got the chain of slip stitches. I tend to just play. If I fold my shoe this way, because I have to be absolutely perfect. Um, but yeah, so one, two, three, four. I tend to play in, place it in between the, the two. So, but parallel to the, the strap. So I'll put it there. Grab my button where I have it. And as it's such a small button and such a small shoe, you don't have to do a lot to this. In one through and then out the other way. You don't need to go backwards and forwards. You can if you want to make it extra secure, but to be honest, it's not that uh, 
and then I tend to do three knots just to secure that button on because obviously we have to be careful with buttons now you have two options you can either just snip the yarn and that'll and that'll be that but if you want to be extra like me and you don't like to see those little ends again play make enough yarn so that you can just weave those in again but try and not sort of stay centered to where the button is because if you've got the button on the outside then you've got a whole whole loads of knots on the inside lots of going backwards and forwards it can come a bit thick and then you don't want that to hurt the baby's foot so just a few There's, there's the button there, but just move along, you know, to the f further away from it. Just do a couple of little. Oops. And here we have it. Cute little Mary Jane shoes. I've made so many of these. I mean I've I've actually done it the whole the whole one colour, but you know, you can be as creative as you want to. You can do a different sole. And then when you've done your sole, you can change colours at that point before you start doing your single crochets. So you can have, um, you know, shoe. I do have one here. It's slightly different. This one has a bow. But again, just to show you what you can do. I, this one has a cream sole and a gold top. And then I just made a tiny bow that you can put at the top. But this is to show, I will show you how to make these things later on. Um, but yeah, this one's got like a tutor and that's quite cute as well. For making the actual shoe itself, you can do anything you like really. Bows, flowers, you can, you know, type some pearls or something. But just be careful when you are doing that. Because obviously it's for a baby and we have to be very cautious that things don't drop off. And... Um, harm the baby in any way so these like i said are a naught to three um you can make these in newborn and you can make these in uh three to six months again exactly the same pattern and what you will need is a um a different crochet hook but i will leave the description in the box below so thanks for joining me again i really hope you like this pattern and um Thank you for subscribing to my channel and uh, watching my videos. I do hope that you're finding them uh, informative and also quite, uh, and, you know, um, it, you know, it's taking you on, on the ladder of wanting to make things uh, through crochet. Um, so please do keep an eye out. Please subscribe, like what you see, and please do share to all your friends and family that you know would love to learn how to crochet. And um, yeah. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next one.